Oh, we don't need this rig tomorrow morning. We need the other rig. But I'll tell you, this week, last week, month, two months, it's been a lot of just side hustles. So we got a call after call of just little projects to knock out. And so we got one of them tomorrow. Old boy's got a 308 up on the hill. He has his own little boy semi set up and everything, but it's on a different project. Couldn't get it in time. So he asked if I go around there and pick that 308 up. So we're taking the load from a semi. Super trucking. Mm -hmm. Anyway, it's just 308. But the thing is, we need to beat the roadblock for the highway construction. They start at six, blocking the road off. And it eats up a ton of time if you get stuck in it both ways. So let's get up there before that and get stuck in it coming back, which is whatever. Maybe we'll get a lucky break. But nevertheless, let's get some side hustling done. All 308. See you in the morning. Turn the air conditioner off immediately. Heated seats. Whole nine. Whew. So we're going to about 6,000 feet elevation right now. 5,000, something like that. 5, 6,000. Basically, we're at 2,500 right here. So we're going to double that. We're going to be picking up a Cat 308 with just a couple buckets. A simple little little unit and hauling it right down the street from my house so the main reason getting up super early is because well we want to beat that roadblock let's go up oh, there's our second car third car fourth one slowly behind us you gotta find that sweet groove in the morning right after all the tweakers finally went to bed and uh, right before all your buddies are getting up and going to work. So, try to find it with minimal traffic. It's, it's hard to do nowadays. There's so much so much going on. If you got some more footage, you can't really see much. It is 52 degrees right now in town. Let's see what the temperature is when we get up there. A couple days from now, they're going to be closing this road down. So, if I didn't make it today, or this week probably then I would have to take the long way around which ain't a big deal but let's get it done today let's just really over and done they got a new one I believe this is just full-time traffic signal for a one lane stretch of it you can see maybe out there that's all built up new road over on the right funny i think that guy and the guy in front of him passed me earlier even though this truck's not s really slow when it's empty or the driver doesn't go slow but dang it we got a red light going old school this morning no gps been up here a handful of times but it's super simple got a couple more of these windy freaking curves and uh, this is actually pretty steep right here need to switch the truck over to tell me the great but just gotta go up here there's a lake on the right man-made and then there is a cat 308 somewhere on the left somewhere I'm pretty sure it's out there yeah right here this has got to be it yeah that's it right there because I can see the dam kind of spooky water in the dark spooky okay so this was the house we worked on. It's all paved, done, and everything. And we got to drive up the road a little bit. And he said he just nursed it off the road into a spot. Is that it right there? There it is. Little girl's beat up. All right, let me go get turned around. Go to turn around trailer out in the middle of nowhere, and as soon as I go to back up, people show up. What are the odds of that? You can see back there. Hopefully I can turn the goose right here. Uh, I'm just gonna cheat and goose next out. Sign right there says no trailer turnaround. Quiet. Somebody shot the sign. Almost 40 degrees up here. 
which is almost freezing if you guys do the math on adding up almost. So I do have a jump pack in case this thing doesn't start. I don't know the machine. You gotta be prepared. So you just gotta do it. I also brought the keys just in case I don't have keys. I personally sketch out leaving stuff on the side of the road like this, but let's go see what it's about. Here's the ignition. Don't see the stick that's supposed to go in it, so let's throw a cat key in it. We got lights. Oh man, we need to crank that up. Get those area out pants with the phone holster. Alright. I'm with this thing idle for a second we'll find out what kind of operator this guy is is it back or excavator controls hey back -o. fuel level low I'll say it's not even on the stick I have a look guess Danny. No, that's the same. Alright, how do I rev it up? There it is. good okay the lights came back on when I got out of the machine kind of scared me and I'm like well disconnect the battery coming at you we're gonna need full binders and full chains and one ratchet strap chains over binders boom strap down double check make sure the door is closed smacked it once but it never can be too safe come on baby yep okay give her the tug test Ugh, can barely reach good to go I don't know yeah you can't see it out there I can and the glasses I mean, the glass of the lake is absolute glass right now. Wow. See, <sighs> see, senor. See if you can see some more. I 
was taking you for granted I'm afraid that might be the mind I came here to explain But the car broke down again And I walk home to falling on pieces Now we're just gonna tiptoe our way up this hill Because I see the red light for the traffic up ahead No point in getting in a hurry to stop Maybe we'll get lucky and get the green flash before we get there. Maybe. Just make come on baby, give us a green. Third gear just putting it. Put 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 put. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna be here a minute. Something's gonna shoot, that would have been nice. Been real nice. Hit the button, gal. Hit the button. Oh, not a chance. Oh, let's see how this goes. Need to get second gear locked up. Probably should have stretched first a little bit longer. Ah, oh, there we go. That was. Wow, that was way easier than the Prime Tech. Unbelievably better. See if the pilot car will keep his momentum up good enough. I don't have to unlock again because that's what really burns on the old torque converter. Never had to worry about this stuff with the stick shift, I'll tell you that much. I thought about bringing the 08 to do this today, but. We got a new truck for a reason. We got we got to use it. The bus is only 308. <sighs> I can't believe how much easier it is to tell a 308 than a prime test. <laughs> Way easier. Did they paint this this morning in the last five minutes? Because this looks a lot nicer than I remember it. Thank you, pilot car, for keeping it a modest 24 mile an hour. Maybe 22. We don't say 23. of lightning pouring rain crescent moon has taken itself far away to lay down one more lazy dream look at all this cat 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 oh got the big big excavator oh he's working right now what size is that son of a gun you can see compared to a pickup I'm pretty sure the bucket would eat that F-250. 390. Dang. That'll do. Of course, you gotta have an operator to be a big guy to run that thing, so the machine doesn't quite look so out of place. Yeah, these, man, Grant really likes their cats. Looks like they got a, he got a 309 or a 308 over here, a new one. We need third gear. Meow. Hope you guys are enjoying the commentary. Oh, get out of the way, Landall. Not Landall, Gradall. Yeah, 308 right there. I should have just stuck that one. Yeah. Not a chance. Just go ahead and unlock second. His old sky crane here. Don't dump. Don't dump him. We have another one. What's this for? Where do we got a roadblock? We're almost there. They have a pilot car for this? Right there, CHP. Otherwise known as DOT. Every day, every day, right by. Hey, at least the controls were the right pattern. Yeah. Not a farmer. Not a farmer? 
<laughs> Tobacco controls, they just make sense. Took me a second to find the throttle on this rig, tucked underneath there. You got fuel, I hope. That one side. <laughs> yeah. What's that? Oh, yeah. Favors are getting in trouble. Hey, I got battery side when you take it out. There you go. Sandwich? Dragon egg cheese. Oh, sweet. Thank you. That's freaking. My father-in-law, they're like six foot six in that gravelly soil in Northern. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I bought that. I had a gravelly Northern. God, dang, I'm going to try this new machine out. Don't put that back roll away. Let's take it with this. Yeah. I want to track back across that thing. Lay that thing over in that ditch. No shit. And it took all that shit and it sorted the computer to the, or the battery to the hydraulic lines and like shut the computer down, everything. Brand new. No kidding. And what? so I just. What are the odds of that? Holy. Got me a breakfast sandwich. Bacon, egg, and cheese. Flavor. See if we can get her turned around right here. This dog, intimidating bark. What's going on there, boss? Look, this is... Well, to be honest with you, it's a little tighter than I thought. Good thing they got real estate. This is... Back in the day kind of deal, back out here. There's a lot... Of ranches still out here. There's, I'd say, as far as ranch size, hobby-ish. But still badass. They still run cows out here. And yeah, there's a whole bunch of cows right there. They got all irrigation so everything can stay kind of green. I wouldn't mind actually owning a piece out here, but it's only about 15 minutes from my house. Maybe a little bit more. Wouldn't be ideal for hauling equipment on a regular basis, but yeah. Anyway, we're going to end it here. I'm going to eat my sandwich before it gets all the way cold. And, man, we're just doing a little bit of trucking. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you. Let me know what you thought about the old 308 hauling. He was like, man, I don't I don't want to haul this much of the gooseneck. Dude, this, this wasn't bad for a gooseneck at all. Walk in the park. A couple of these hills, you got to go down to second gear. But coming down them, maybe going up them too. Oh, what is that? Damn, we ran over a rabbit or a possum. See you guys. Later.